Hello and welcome to you know let's play me, Game Wolf 6, Operation Flashpoint Cold War Crisis. On last let's play, we attempted this mission. I think this might be the first time I just kind of gave up at the end, but that was because we were killed at the end and all that stuff. Engage at will! And there's a bit of onboarding because I completely forgot how to play this game. Well, with the uh, controls and trying to. I don't like having to. Like, work, guys. I mean, I love the idea, especially in when this game came out, of having, like, AI that helped you, you know, fought alongside you instead of just against you, which was pretty much all the games at the time, more or less. But then, um, but yeah, having to keep these guys alive, hecking. Also, yeah, I, I always, like, the funny thing is, you'd think that having AI companions in a game like Halo would increase my survival rate. You know, Marines and stuff like that. But I'd have to personally think, no, that it's actually the opposite. The reason for that is, if I have AI friends, then I fight more aggressively so that they, hopefully, wouldn't die. But then, you know, fighting aggressively. Do I just can't tell them to hang back and do pot shots at the enemy? Granted, the enemy has usually has shields, and we don't, because it's like, okay. Elites, they have shields that recharge. Uh... Jackals, they do have, like, shield-ass shields that do recharge, but, um, yeah. Grunts, not so much. I think there might be a Grunt that gets a shield. You know, high-level guys. Um, there aren't Brutes yet in Halo 1. What else is there? They don't have those flying bug guys. They don't have the engineers. They have, uh... Who are those guys? Are the worms? Hunters? Those those guys have, like, impenetrable shields over most of their body. Brutes aren't in yet. It's the elite grunts, brutes, jackals, hunters fly dudes. Oh yeah, and then uh, the prophets. Yeah. My body's stiff. First t time going to the gym yesterday in like a long time. I went to the gym on the ship, but it was some... Hopefully I'm not being too offensive by saying this ghetto-ass shit. You know, it was basically, here's the movie theater area, but here's a couple of weights and a barely functional treadmill in this, just stuffed in a corner. Though there was a bench with some impressive amount of weight on the top, like 60, 90 pound weights actually. But the thing is, the time that I would be free to go off and do that stuff was, you know, midday. So, it would be the sun blazing down on me when being in the hot, humid uh, place of uh, the Gulf of Mexico. And also it was on top of the ship. You know, there wasn't any cover on it. So it was just absolutely miserable. At which point I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep the downstairs in the in nice cool area, but I didn't really do too much exercise because I just lazy. I, you know, I don't want to do it, but man, going back to the gym, oh good man. You should also get your music back. I need to get like a new MP3, MP4 player or something like that. Because we actually did have like some cell range, at least half of it at least. But then, um, you know, you're in a metal ship and waves of signal don't really go over that pretty easily enough. Okay, those guys should be able to get here in time-ish. Convoy, you are clear to move on.
That should be fine. Right? Okay, hold the phone. We just kind of move back and forth. Where are the guys? Convoy, this is Guardian One. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Everybody get in this vehicle. All get in M113. Roger. Where is everybody? Is there some kind of thing like if we patrol in this area ahead of time, nobody spawns or something? Because there's supposed to be at least three guys here. Convoy, you are clear to move on. I just want to look, you know, especially while we uh, move ahead to our next area, which will take a little bit of time. Operation Flash, there we go. Let's see, it was like Sabotage, where is that on the list? Saboteur, we are Guardian now. Take on T-72. Fantastic.
and ends your way to the first crossroad and you find some soldier here and there. Yeah, we found him quicker. Go to south route. I was going to pick the south route anyways, or technically the east route. Audrey? Yeah, I didn't think we were going to find any tanks. Oops, I did it again. Maybe the game took pity on me and got rid of all the soldier boys. Oh, so where do we get these uh, anti-tank stuffs? Sh shit. Guardian one, convoy here. We've reached the crossroads. Awaiting your instructions. Eleven o'clock. Soldier one hundred. Yo. Good. So, wow, you guys actually just didn't just crumple at the side of an enemy. Though there is one thing I want to test. Four, waiting. Five, waiting. Six, waiting. Seven, waiting. Eight, waiting. Convoy, this is Guardian One. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Okay, there is a guy there. Convoy, you are clear to move on. Move. Guardian one to convoy. Hang right here, would you? Out. Kind of looked like it did a checkpoint there. Yeah, no. Well, hopefully we'll be able to see a tank, and our log guy will be able to uh, get him. Well, that's kind of neat. The little dial thingy does a thing. So just be right outside the area and shoot them dead. Don't worry, physics. Okay, see guy over there. Wait, they're good guys? I thought that was supposed to be where the bad guys are. Okay.
I mean, if there's... It was it Audrey? Artie. And then go to Dorkenstarn, and then La Trifit, and then St. Louis, and then airport. This is a long way for only having one save file. Let me just check one more time. Yeah. I ain't even pushing it. In Artie, you'll find some more enemies. Nope, those are friendlies. Boy, this thing is careening out of control. Let's wait for the guys to catch up. Hey, guys. Convoy, you are clear to move on. Oh, there they are. I think. Machine Gunner, 100. Convoy, this is Guardian 1. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Guardian 1, Convoy here. We're under attack. Support Truck 1 is hit and on fire. We need you to cover us. Convoy to Guardian 1. Support Truck 2 is out of action. We're getting shot to bits here. Let me just go over there. Nope. Four. Oh, it could, is there a way to change the difficulty so we have multiple save files? Super AI. Ready. Five, waiting. Six, waiting. Seven, waiting. Eight, waiting. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Like, yeah, I guess that the enemy AI bleh, keep low to the ground and all that stuff, but still. Also, here's the thing. We had one ambush when we were ambushing tanks. 
These guys have like literally all the ambushes. They're supposed to be tanks. I'm supposed to guard not just the vehicles, but the guys inside. Okay. Uh, guys? Shoot them? Two. Engage the target. Two. Two, attack, soldier. I'm on him. Like, what is the point of this APC if it, it's like, hmm? Two, go to two, zero, go eight. to two, zero, eight, one o'clock, enemy, soldier, one hundred. Two, attack, soldier. Roger. Go to zero, one, one. Like, for fuck's sakes! I'm right next to these guys, and it's like... Hmm... Oh, so retry gets us here. Huh. Oh, one sec. So they actually have save files. That's actually useful. Come on, five. Five, board, M113. Roger. Just trying to see if there's anything preventing them from actually shooting a dude. Just want to take a look at that building. Wow, we crashed the shit out of that building. Didn't think that was possible. You could just run into it and go boom. One o'clock, enemy, soldier, 100. No, just two. Two o'clock, enemy, AP soldier, 100. Go to one, zero, one, zero. Two, attack, soldier. I'm on him. Move to zero, eight, five. Two. Get the fuck out. Two, disembark. Roger. Two, ready. Turn. It, is there something wrong with that thing? Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. 
disembark. Roger. Because I would explain it if the Two, gunner, waiting. for some reason, Three, can't fucking waiting. turn the gun. Four, okay, that seems to be able to do a thing. Is there a guy somewhere? Jeez, we're almost at time again. There's one thing I want to look up. Multiple save files, because that would make this game so much more better. Yes, there is. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of crazy stuff. It's like, this game has the thing that I don't like about War Thunder, which is several minutes of trying to get to some place, followed by amount of time that you can die. Like, you can die so fucking quickly in this game. Convoy, this is Guardian 1. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Like, the fact that shit can hit the fan real fucking quick... And the amount of time it takes to organize getting up to the point where things can get, can just go to shit, is unfathomably bad. Like, long. Because, like, I like Dwarf Thunder, but having all that time where, you know, you get to a place, the front lines, and then you can be immediately sniped, that fucking sucked. 12 o'clock, enemy, soldier, 100. Twelve o'clock, enemy, AT soldier, 100. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, disembark. Twelve o'clock, enemy, officer, 100. Three, waiting. Four, ready. Thanks for five, not being a fucking ready. credit to team. Six, ready. Ten o'clock, enemy, soldier, Wait, is another one? Seven, ready. Well, guys, it'd be kind of nice if you could shoot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, disembark. Roger. Two, waiting. Like, 5,000 meters is a long way to go to hopefully not have every single motherfucker killed. Hmm. 
Do I need like somebody to get in this vehicle for me to turn this or what? It seems like it's doing absolutely nothing. Roger. Okay, now I can do it. Like, why do you need the engine to be on to do this stuff? I can barely see anything, but uh, at least it'll be hard for them to shoot me. Too bad I can't actually zoom either. Jesus. Convoy, this is Guardian One. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Okay, how do I get these guys to stop? Guardian One, convoy here. We're under attack. Move to the Guardian One is hit. Man, we fire. We need you to cover us. One hundred. Convoy to Guardian One. Support truck two is out of action. We're getting shot to bits here. Is that bad guy there? Well, that's a good guy. Wait, the truck is at... No, wait, the guy's there. All get in, M113. Roger. Two. Nope. Two. Roger. Two, ready. Two. Actually, yeah, but we, we we try one more time. All get in M one one three. Roger. I just don't like how, like, sometimes my guys are super fucking competent. Like, they're like, there's this guy on the mountain over there, they're dead. And then the other guy, times it's like this, where it's like, I'm right up next to these guys, and the air's like, where'd they be? I don't see a soldier here. And he's like, that guy right there, shoot him. And he's like, hmm, shoot the bad guys with guns. Convoy, this is Guardian One. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Actually, there's a little supply thing right there. Seems maybe we can get a uh, law or something there. Nope.
One o'clock. AP soldier. One hundred. One o'clock. Officer. One hundred. That was close. A meeting at 10 o'clock. Right now it's 8.33. It's kind of funny. I was like going yesterday. I was like, I'm not sure how good I feel about Monkey Island. Why? Because, you know, you get stuck at things and stuff. But then when it comes to this game, it's like hmm. 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 Like it, I'm supposed to babysit this truck, or these series of trucks, going through literally very much enemy infested territory. And the enemies seem to have just hollow vision amount of being able to see these guys and one shot them pretty quick. They die real quick next to an enemy. I huh, didn't know I could do that to a stone wall. Convoy, this is Guardian One. Stop. Repeat. Stop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Disembark. One o'clock. Enemy. Soldier. One hundred. One o'clock. Because we're probably going to need a law thing at some point. Because the the thing's like, there's a law that you should probably okay, get. Okay, man. Let's get organized. At the beginning, so, the you know. Be rolling in at any moment. Doesn't say where exactly. Let's look at the uh, walkthrough. Take on M21 and law for this mission. You may encounter a T-72, so be careful. In the M113, get in the M113, put someone in the Hummer to follow you behind. And your way, and your way to the first crossroad. You'll find some soldier here and there. Once the first crossroad is clear, move convoy up there. Go rest to the southern route. In Audrey, you'll find some more enemies. I guess just shortly afterwards. You have a law for any tanks. Keep the convoy moving now, but keep them 500 meters away from you. Dordan must be cleared first, and then La Trinity and St. Louis. Now it's safe to keep the convoy rolling towards the airport. Check the road from St. Louis. To Maybe we should just run straight towards the airport and be like, fuck it. Because I'm not sure if we need to actually bring anybody here. Maybe, like, the laws in the ammo truck? The only way I could think about getting it otherwise is to kill the one guy we have. I 
Is there a game out there where, like, you can have, like, guys and research stuff and fit them with better equipment or something like that? Like, get these guys armor and whatnot? There has to be some game out there. Like, I just couldn't think of it off the top of my head. So where's this bloody ammo dump? Yeah, I think unfortunately we're just gonna have to call this one and come back to it later. Just bugger me, you know? Like, if this game had multiple save files, I could see myself clearing it easily enough, you know? You start the game, you get to a checkpoint, nobody's died, save, get to the next checkpoint, save, next point, checkpoint, save, etc, etc. But when it comes to this game, it's like, okay, the game does its own autosave sometimes, but then um, you, you have a one, you have one, everybody gets one. And if you save in an inopportune place, or anything, then go fuck yourself. I'm going to look on the internet for anything else that could probably, like, help. Like, a save file system would be pretty great. A better one. So it is. Let's play. Cobbit, spay, neuter, animals, like, subscribe, and until next time, let's say me, me, move six of. I guess the second time we might actually. I, I don't exactly remember any time where I. No, I guess we had I've had times where we split things up, maybe. And I know, I'd have to plug in my external hard drive to this computer, turn the other one. You know, thanks and see ya.